Have a nice day. <laughs> you know the answer. On Wednesday, Mel Reynolds smiled as he walked past journalists and into Zimbabwe's Harare courthouse. There, he entered a plea of not guilty to two charges, including possessing pornography. His lawyer, Arthur Gurira, spoke to VOA via phone from Zimbabwe. He has overstayed or his permit expired on the 10th of December 2018. The second charge is, uh, and it is being alleged that he was found with no pictures in his phone. The former Democratic member of the U.S. House of Representatives was born in 1952 in the southern U.S. state of Mississippi, but he grew up in the state of Illinois. Lorenzo Morris teaches political science at Howard University and is familiar with Reynolds' career. Well, it's a sad story, but it's not all of that that surprising because very often when we are overwhelmed at an early period, as we were when he started his career by his seemingly stellar background, having come from a relatively disadvantaged situation, becoming a Rhodes Scholar and going to elite universities and then being elected to Congress in a competitive city like Chicago, we think we forget that they often have to leave a great deal of behind. Reynolds was once a rising star in the Democratic Party, but was forced to resign his seat in 1995 for having sex with an underage campaign worker. He also spent time in prison on fraud charges, but his sentence was commuted by President Clinton in 2001. Lorenzo Morris. He was somebody who could deal with the black power community and the civil rights community without being a part of it because he'd been in the elite parts of the dominant society's educational system. That very separation also brings with it a degree of insularity and vulnerability. Dr. Morris also says that personal weaknesses can remain whether in Africa or not. Reynolds has been to Zimbabwe many times apparently on business. Last year, he made an unsuccessful bid to return to Congress, his second attempt at a political comeback. It is a classic example. In Washington, Maria Majalu, VOA News. It's a classic example of money laundering, and it's a classic example of him getting a pass because of his death.